Some years back, when I was on a hunting trip way up in the high Sierra mountain range, I had a rather strange thing happen to me. It was a cold, and I do mean a cold day. I'd ridden my horse up over a big ridge and was letting him blow a bit, and I happened to look away off down in a wild, desolate-looking valley, and I could see an old log cabin. Well, I was about in the mood to freeload somebody off a cup of coffee, so I rode my horse down toward the place. But when I rode up, I was rather disappointed because it looked like there was nobody living there. I could see the front door had been blown down, kind of like it had been wrestling with a storm. In fact, it was a lonely-looking place. I was just about to ride on when I got a big surprise. An old hound dog came staggering out of that old cabin and just real wearily like lay down on the porch. Now, I know a dog will not long remain at a deserted place, but if his master is in that place, he'll stay there till he starves to death, and this dog looked like he wasn't far from doing that. Because that old dog was there and because there was no smoke coming out of that chimney, that place might have looked deserted, but I knew it wasn't. This dog was telling me a story. And I thought to myself, there's something wrong here. The thought hit me with a foreboding premonition. There was a man there somewhere. I swung down off my horse, walked up to the porch, and that old dog wearily got up and started slowly back into the house, same as to say, come on, I'll lead you to him. I stepped over the old door that was caved in. It was dark in the old house, and I, I couldn't see anybody about. I saw the old dog standing over by another door. I walked over and opened it, and I saw him, a little old man on a couch. As I walked up closer, I could see that he had snow on his chest snow that had sifted in through a broken window pane above him. I don't know how long the old man had been dead. He, he just looked like he was asleep. His old dog came up and began to whine. Now and then he'd look up to me with a pleading look, same as say, can't you do something to help him? Then I happened to notice shabby window curtains that were way back and forth every time the wind came through that broken window. A man's not going to put up window curtains in a cabin that's at least 20 miles from the nearest road. A man won't do that. A woman had hung up those curtains. I began to wonder what had happened to her. I turned and walked back out into the yard and sat down on a fallen tree. I noticed there wasn't any snow on that tree. Perhaps a storm had recently visited the mountains and blown it over. As I looked around, I could see a, a little toy wagon way up under the porch. A wagon that only had three wheels. And I wondered, where were the children that once played with that broken wagon? I can't explain it, but I reached in my coat pocket and got a little paper sack out. And I thought I'd like to paint a word picture of that place. I began the lyrics with, This old house once knew my children. This old house once knew my wife. Well, you know the rest of the story. This old house was a song hit of seven different countries at the same time. But I don't think that anyone ever got the true meaning that I intended the song to convey. You see... I wrote it to be a sad song. And when I made the first recording, I did it that way. But then the recording industry said, oh, Stuart, you're all wrong. To be a hit, it's got to have a real bounce to it. Well, not long ago, I was up in our attic and happened to run across that first old tape recording that I'd made. Perhaps if you listen to it, you can get the true meaning that I wanted the song to have. You see, most people thought the song was just about a poor, lonely prospector and his half-dead dog that had cashed in their blue chips 
way up high in the Sierra Mountains during a wild storm. But that wasn't it at all. The song was about two houses. The house that's made of mud, brick, and wood, and stone that a man builds. And the other house, the mortal house. The house that the maker of men has loaned to the man for such a short, short time. Ain't I gonna need this house no longer? I'm getting ready to meet the saints. This old house once knew my children. This old house once knew my wife. This old house was home and comfort as we fought the storms of life. This old house once rang with laughter. This old house heard many a shout. Now she trembles in the darkness. When the lightning walks about But ain't gonna need this house no longer Ain't gonna need this house no more Ain't got time to fix the shingles Ain't got time to fix the floor Ain't got time to oil the hinges Or to mend no window pane Ain't gonna need this house no longer I'm getting ready to meet the saints This old house is a getting shaky This old house, it's getting old This old house lets in the rain This old house lets in the cold on my knees I'm getting chilly But I feel no fear nor pain Cause I see an angel peeking Through a broken window pane But I ain't gonna need this house no longer Ain't gonna need this house no more Ain't got time to fix the shingles. Ain't got time to fix the floor. Ain't got time to oil the hinges. Bottom in the window pane. Ain't gonna need this house no longer. I'm getting ready to meet the saints. My old hound dog lies asleep. He don't know I'm Elsie'd wake up by the fireplace. He'd just sit there and howl and grieve. But my hunting days are over. We ain't going hunting anymore. Gabriel done brought in my chariot when the wind blew down the door. But I ain't gonna need this house no longer. Ain't gonna need this old house no more. Ain't got time to fix the shingles. Ain't got time to fix the floor. Ain't got time to oil the hinges. Autumn in the window pane. Ain't gonna need this house no longer. I'm getting ready to 